Okay, we have 100 foot of string to rope off a rectangular section for the bake sale. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, that means that then the perimeter can't be more than 100, uh, which we have to keep in mind. Um, and it said the function, and, and let's see, the function a equals negative x squared plus 50x gives the area of the section in square feet. They want to give the maximum area we can rope off. Let's see if we can find the maximum by first taking that equation and identifying what's a and what's b. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, a, the a value in front of x squared is negative 1, and the b value is 50. Because remember, it's negative b over 2a. So what, what we're really asking is, okay, what can we... Um, what is going to be the the maximum is really what the vertex is going to be a maximum or a minimum. And in this case, since we see it's negative x squared, we know that parabola is going to be opening down, right, like that, and we will have at that high point, we'll have a maximum. So what is that maximum? We first need to find the x-coordinate of it. So we can take the equation, a equals negative, well, actually, before we do that, let's say, let's find the axis of symmetry. So we can say um, x equals negative b over 2a or negative what's b? 50 over 2a and what's a? Negative 1. Okay, so negative 50 over negative 2 means positive 25. So we've got a, an axis of symmetry at x equals 25. Okay, so let's find out, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, x is the width in feet. So because the area in feet and, uh, okay, then if we use the equation, we can say x is going to give us the maximum, and let's write that equation. A equals, sorry, just a second. A equals negative x squared plus 50x. And they said that x we should be using 25 squared plus 50 times 25 will give us the, the maximum area. Okay, 25 squared is 625, so we've got the negative of 625, plus 50 times 25 is going to be 1,250, and when we combine those, we get an area of 625 square feet. What did we do there? Well, the first thing we did is we said we know that the maximum and we know it's going to be a maximum because there's a negative a value. So it's going to open down. So we're going to get the maximum on that line of symmetry. So we first calculated the line of symmetry by negative b over 2a and calculated that <coughs> x equals 25 is the line of symmetry. And that means that our vertex point, our high point, is going to have an x coordinate of 25. And that says the width is in feet 25. Okay. <coughs> Now, what we've got is, um, since that's the maximum, what we can we can do is say, okay, that's the ma when they're asking about what the um, what width gives you the maximum area you can rope off. So we can say um, twenty five feet gives us the maximum area that we can rope off. I'm going to box that as our first answer. Okay, and what is the maximum area? When we plug it in to find out what it spits out, it's 625. That's the highest number we're ever going to be able to get. So when they ask us what's the range, we can say the range is going to be, really it's going to be A is somewhere, uh, it's got to be less than or equal to the highest number that it is, is 625. But it's also got to be greater than or equal to, imagine if we put all the rope on one side, we squeezed the width of it down as low as we can go. We kept making the length 
longer and longer, the width lower and lower until the width was zero, and then it would become an area of zero. So we know that the range, the total possible areas, is somewhere between an area of zero, if we put all the rope in one direction and none in the other direction, and up to and including the possible maximum area of 625. That's it.